Welcome back on the program. Now is the motivational talk segment of Morning Delight and Fola Daniel Adelisi is already on standby and he will be taking us on excuses. Good morning, Fola. Good morning. The standby yeah. button is not working. This okay. Morning. It's not working. <laughs> okay, I don't have to keep pressing the yeah. button now. He's, okay. he's not working this morning. <laughs> All right, Fola, happy Easter. Same yeah. to you. Good to have you back. Really a happy one. So indeed. we're talking about excuses yeah. and all of that. And I'm wondering what has that got to do with anything, really? Obama. Because I see it's Obama that is your tea. Okay. All right. So I'll leave you to do your thing. Hi. Good morning. You know, I like to open up the story by telling you stories from different people and stories from different events that have happened over time. I read the story of a young man who at a time woke up in the morning and said, Hey, mom, you know what? I think God wants us to be poor. I think it's his plan for us to be poor. Then the mom said, shut up. Don't let me ever hear you say it's God's plan for us to be poor. He said, it's daddy that has never made any plan to be rich. So we are poor not because God wants us to be poor. We are poor because daddy has never made any attempt to be rich. From that day onwards, the man, the young man made up his mind that he was going to be a rich man. He knew from what the mother said that it was not God's plan for them to be poor, but it was his dad that had never desired to be a rich man. By the way, what's your excuse to be a poor man? What's your excuse not to have accomplished the dreams that you have not accomplished? What's your excuse not to have started that business? What's your excuse not to have started building that house? What's your excuse not to have started employing the people that you need to employ? instead of remaining an employee there is no other circumstance that can be powerful enough to hold you down there is no other circumstance that can be powerful enough to keep you where you are excuses are like senators excuses are like lawyers excuses are like presidents excuses are like governors they are only empowered by the constitutions governing the entities in which they are leaders so it is the constitution that empowers them despite the fact that we call them leaders consequently your excuses are empowered by your imagination nations either in its limits or in its expanse it is only the power that you are giving to your excuses that they have once you say oh i can't do this because i don't have money you have just empowered money not to come your way once you say i can't employ staff because i don't have this money i don't have this office you have just em empowered the opportunities to stay away from you once you say oh i can't get the right kind of staff right now because i'm not a big man yet you have just ain't you know you have just empowered all those things to stay away from you the power you give to excuses are the powers they exercise excuses don't have any power excuses don't have any authority by the way some people say oh it's because i'm a nigerian no it's not because you're a nigerian it's because you're not thinking right that's an excuse you have just empowered your brain not to function at the capacity in which it's supposed to function if you say it's because i'm a black man you have just empowered your brain not to walk the way it's supposed to work for you by the way a black man invented the comb by the way a black man invented the hair cream the black man invented the first pen i would I have been a great author today if not for the first pen that was invented by a black man a black man invented the lawnmower a black man invented so many other things that we cannot even think about right now because I don't have the time to start counting all of those things it's the same blood that runs in your vein that runs in any other man's vein I have punctured uh, these maybe by mistake myself and it's the red blood that is coming out I have not seen any man who is punctured or who has an accident and has had any color of blood coming out of him it's red blood that runs in everybody's body so if it is red blood that runs in everybody's body what excuse do you have not to be as intelligent as that other man what excuse do you have not to be as great as other men that you see now the number of cells in my brain is the number of cells in your brain. The number of cells in your brain is the number of cells in everybody's brain. Nobody has more cells. Nobody has lesser cells. So what excuse do you have? Excuses, like I told you, are only as empowered as you have empowered them. Excuses like senators, like leaders, like people in state houses of assembly, I told you earlier on, are only empowered by constitution. The constitution upon which your excuse has a right to limit you is your imagination. If your imagination 
imagination is limited then your excuse is empowered if your imagination is not big enough then your excuse is empowered if your imagination is not broken then your excuse is empowered if your imagination is not built upon then your excuse is empowered you have empowered your excuse long enough not to be the man that you're supposed to be stop empowering your excuse and i dare you to disempower disenfranchise your excuse now and go all out to achieve what you're supposed to achieve send me an email ediblepen at yahoo.com okay all right so basically we are limited by the i go do syndrome like yeah. i read one of the mags yeah i will i will do this but then you never really uh, end up doing it uh, sorry so that takes me to the question excuses does, uh, is it the same thing as procrastination because yes. i know that is the worst enemy of success in one way okay it is all right I, i'll do it tomorrow okay. i'll do it tomorrow and the question is there's no reason why it shouldn't have been done at that moment mm. there's no reason why it shouldn't have been done instantly so excuses in some cases are the same as procrastination but in some other cases they're not the same at all like somebody says i will and another person says i hope now the words are stronger when i say i will mm -hmm. it means i am not thinking maybe i will do it i am not uh planning to do it i've already made up my mind to do it mm -hmm. but when i say i hope it means i'm not even sure it means i don't know if i will mm -hmm. i don't i'm not it's not certain I don't think the circumstances will permit me mm -hmm. so I'm still hoping mm -hmm. but if I say I will it means there's a strong desire so the person who says I will will look for a way to make sure he does it mm -hmm. if he has integrity with words but the man who says I hope he has not committed himself that's why sometimes when I listen to people I don't listen to their words I listen in between lines mm -hmm. and I look at the words you're using specifically mm -hmm. and I quote if you say I will I can sense a strong desire it means no matter what comes your way no matter what happens and you try you try yes. you keep looking for a way out mm -hmm. but once you say i hope i will do it it means you're already envisaging circumstances that will not let you do it so when you don't do it eventually you say well i only told you i hope mm -hmm. yeah what if i say i can't well yes we can okay <laughs> <laughs> all right Paula, thanks for coming on the program your today. pleasure being here. all right uh yeah you've heard it from Paula. so the, the 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 best way i'd say out of making nonsense of your life really is to get up and get started whatever it is you have to do do it now remember the nursery school rhyme tick save the clock tick tick what I you have, have to, to do do it now Stop.